Hi, my name is Vanessa Tafoya and I'll be performing my two contrasting monologues. I will begin with my comedic piece from Up Here by Liz Fly, where I'll be playing the character of Grace. I will then follow it with my dramatic reading of Everything's Turning Into Beautiful by Seth Bronsonfield, where I'll be playing the character of Brenda. I'm sitting in the kitchen alone and I, I couldn't be in that house anymore, I couldn't be there. So I walked outside to get some air and calm down. And those gardeners were finishing replanting next door after the pipe had burst. They were packing up. I walked over to check in with Bonnie, see if everything was all right. And I see this man, one of the gardeners on our lawn. He was hiding in the bushes on the side of the house. And his pants were down. And he was going to the bathroom on my lawn. On our lawn. He's outside, exposed on my lawn. Quietly shitting on my lawn. Like it wasn't anything. Like this is something he did all the time. Like crouching behind a hydrangea bush made him invisible. And I ran over there screaming. I was screaming and you know I can really scream. You've never actually heard me scream. It's so loud. Shot the hell out of me. And I ran over there and I kicked him hard right in the ankle all the time screaming and screaming. I guess all the other women in the neighborhood turned a blind eye because of his face. He looks so surprised. And I started hitting him with my hand and I grabbed his shirt and I pushed him down, put his face right near his mess and I said, you're gonna clean that up. You don't shit on people's wants. Who do you think you are? I live here. My family lives here. And then he started crying, saying something I couldn't understand, full of shame and anger. And then I started crying, apologizing to him over and over. So now we're both there, sobbing. That's when I decided to go back inside started throwing everything away. I'd see something, I'd pick it up, take it outside, drop it at the curb. Plates, furniture, pictures, all of your clothes. And then I knocked on the mailbox. That was really satisfying. So I knocked on the Kirchner bombs mailbox across the street and then, well then that's when the police came and brought me here. That's what happened to me. How was your day? What happened to you? I'm having a panic attack talking about a song I wrote. There's insanity in my family. My mother's out of her mind. My father's completely depressed. I have been in and out of therapy for years and nothing seems to change. I've tried medication and stuff and I don't know. I just thought that by this time I'd have kids and a family and I'm just so pissed that it's not in the cards for me. How did I get here? That's what I wonder. Did I have a good time the first half of my life? I was so busy making music, living like a rock star in the fucking scene. And then you try your way into some kind of normal life. N nothing fits. What is it to have a family? To have children running around, to go shopping for clothes for them, to know their favorite foods, to be up to date on the latest toys and cartoons? What is it to have a decent, healthy relationship. This doesn't include cops at your door, finding drugs in your bathroom, and the pain. I know so much about pain, Sam. I can't take any more pain. I want something decent, but I don't have any experience of it. I don't even know what decency looks like. Is it what my parents had? I was listening to you talking about wanting to die, and I wish I was passionate enough about like to want to die, but that's not for me. I have problems living, like actually living, feeling new, anything new. I want something new to happen, something brand new, Sam, something that changes my perspective on being alive. Don't smile, Sam. That's what I was talking about when I wrote that song. And you have no idea how dead serious I am. And scene. <laughs> Thank you.